Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you how I model this door handle. I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Okay, so in the Pratt workbench, I create a new sketch in the front view. I create a slot. And I set the radius to uh, 20. Selecting this point and this point and hit C to snap it to the center. And I set the length of this line to uh, 100. Next, I will uh, select this arc and I will delete it. I create a line and connect in between. And make sure you set the horizontal constraint on this line. So you select in this line and hit H. Now the sketch is fully constrained. I close. Go up to the view. And toggle axis cross to show the arrow. I create another sketch. I want to offset this one to 100. I create a circle. Now I will reference this line, this arc. I view the section. Still in this uh, circle and this arc, and I hit T for tension. This circle and this point, and I hit C to snap it. Now the skirt is fully constrained and close. Now the next step is I want to uh, bridge between this circle and this slot to create this form. So I'm going to use the plane solid tool in the curve swoop bench. So first I need to extrude this one. So I select in this circle and I extrude this in the Y axis, positive one. Click OK. Select uh, this cat and it's through this. Negative one in the Z as in the Y axis. Click OK. Now if I go to the curve workbench, I can draw select in this face and then this face. And I create then solid. You can see I cannot create a plane solid in between because two faces must have the same number of edges. So we need to separate this circle. Uh, in here, in the slot, I have uh, one, two, three, and then four edges. So I need to separate this circle into four edges. So I go back into the, the true and uh, go inside the sketch. Hit G and N to turn that into construction geometry. A quite center arc. Start from here. One arc like this. Another one like this. Another one. The last one. Okay, so let this point, this point, and this line, I hit C to snap it to the line. So let this point and this circle, I hit C. Okay. Up here, I select this point and this point. I hit C. Okay. Select this point and this point. Hit C. Okay. Doing the same down here. This one and this one. Hit C. This one and this one, hit C. Okay, I uh, over constraint right now, so I undo that. Selecting this port and this port. I hit H for horizontal. Okay. So selecting this port and this port, hit C. This port and this port, hit H for horizontal. Okay. Now the skit is fully constrained. I close. Now I can use the 
blend solid. So I can do select in this face and in this face. And it goes to blend solid. The default setting of the blend solid is Z2 continuity, which is very nice. Okay, next I want to create in the handle. I go back to the Pratt workbench. I create a new sketch in the right view, but I want to offset this one to 150. Okay, I reference this line, then I create a, a rectangle. Start from this point. Select in this point and this point. It's safe to snap it. Select this point, this point, and the center line. It asks for symmetry. Select this line and turn that into construction. Hit G and N. I create B spline. And I will create in a B splice start from here, another point here, another one here, and the last one here. Okay, select in this point and this point. Hit H for horizontal. Now here, this one and this one, hit H. This one and this one, hit V for vertical constraint. Select in this point and hit D and set it to 30. Now the skirt is fully constrained and close. And I want you to do this one to the S axis. A positive one and to um, 200. Very solid. Click OK. OK, next I want you a bridge between these two. So before I break these two, I need to uh, combine these three together. So I can draw selecting this is true, which is this one. This one is true zero zero one and the blend solid. And I go to uh, union. Now I have a single solid. Okay. Next, I want to split um, this object to somewhere around here. And in between, I will use in blend surface to blend in between. So uh, to split that, I go to this, I go to create a new sketch in the top view. And I will um, create a line like this. And make sure, with the section, make sure this line uh, have the horizontal constraint. And I set the distance between this point and this line to 50, somewhere in here. And make sure the line is longer than the object. Then I close. Uh, I will extrude this cat to 200, symmetric. Okay. Control select in the fusion and the plan. And go to Pratt. Flip and slice to compile. Okay. The next part is I want to bridge in between. I go to the curve workbench. And I will control selecting this face and then this edge. This face and then this edge. And I go to blend our surface. You can see if we change the angle. You see, we have a little uh, small problem in the surface in here. So I need to click on the blend surface and I go to the uh, samples and I de decrease this one to five. The surface is now cleaner. Now I will uh, fill uh, the surface in the back here. So I go to the surface workbench. And using the uh, fill sections, and I will click on add edge and select in this edge and then this edge. Okay. And uh, how up here, I will use the filling tool, 
click on the fill in tool and just select edges in sequence. Doing the same down here. Okay, now I will uh, using the parametric solid to create a solid. So I go to the curves for bench and I can just select faces, one of these faces. Okay, make sure you select all of these faces and you create par parametric solid. Okay, now you should have a green solid in here. I hit space bar to hide everything except for the solid. Uh, now uh, I'm going to show um, controls. I will select in this edge, go to the brush bench and go to the jumper. And let's try uh, go. Maybe let's go inside the chamfer and change this to four. I can just select uh, these four edges. Go to the fillet. Let's try one for that. Also work in five. And selecting this edge, go to the fillet. Let's try show. Okay. So that's it for the tutorial, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.